Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad and welcome to part 2 of the Tarragon Tutorials. So you've messed with the basic menu enough and it's time to see the hidden treasures of the expert menu. Today in particular, dithered environmental biomes. What even is that? And where are the patchwork quilt biomes from vanilla random world gen? Let's find out in this video. <laughs> Before we open the expert menu, I'm going to change the map name to Terrain Biome Test. I'm going to drop the size down to four for speed, and I'm going to turn off the rivers also for speed. I'm going to leave the rest of the settings exactly as they are. And let's just see what our basic default settings biomes look like. And there we go, roughly 54 seconds later, I've got a very, very basic map. And I notice there's no wilderness POIs. As I said, there are issues with the software that are being addressed obviously all of the time. So the results are probably going to be different when you run it. So here we can see what's going on. We've got the desert as the lowest into the forest, and then we've got burnt and snow higher up. And we've got this very extensive dithering effect. As I mentioned in the previous video, I do quite like that, but you might not. So let's have a look at where we can go to change these settings to make it look a little bit different. So now let's have a look at the expert menu. And if we click the expert tab at the top here, as I'm sure most of you have done already, you'll be faced with a pretty terrifying list of stuff that might not mean a lot, but don't worry, we're only gonna look at what we need to today to cover what is needed for this video. So you can get your bearings. Let's have a look at what we've got on the screen here. The left-hand column contains all of the commands we can use to build and export a map. The right hand column contains all of the commands for the generator one preset that are needed to create a basic map because that's the one that we've got loaded at the moment. The bottom window shows us more information and is a place to adjust the settings for the commands we select in the right column. If I click on create noise height map and look down the bottom you can see all of these lovely things that we can change. So let's start with the biome settings. Generator 1 preset enables the new environmental biomes, which are quite a change from what we're used to, and the system places biomes at specific heights, as I've mentioned. We can change the order that these biomes appear on the map and the height at which they change by going into the environmental biomes option in the right-hand side list. So if I go down here to create environmental biome map, select that, so looking at this section straight away here, the number on the left hand side next to the biome name indicates the maximum height that that biome will be drawn to and the next biome will then start. The biome type can be changed to whatever you prefer and we can rearrange the biomes as we like and even repeat or remove a biome. So here the desert biome is set to appear in our map up to a maximum height of 28 blocks. We can change that to forest now instead of desert here we should have forest biome and then we could change the forest biome which will start from a height of 28 up to a maximum of 60 in this case we could change that to desert perhaps so the next one here you can see we've got burnt forest up to a maximum height of 85 and it looks like it's repeated this is just an option where you could add another biome if you wanted to if we wanted all forest with just snow on the top we can simply change all of these to forest. And then the forest would stop at a height of 85 and the snow, the next one would take over up to a height of 256. I could change that to 150 and we would get a green map with just snow on the mountains. So what about this dithering that's happening here? The way this works out, if I was in the forest here, I could start walking towards the desert. I would get small patches of desert. And as I approach, it would slowly become less foresty and then eventually 100% desert. It's quite a nice effect, but if you're not keen on that, we can just turn that off completely by switching off this diffuse biome transitions. If you do like it, but it's a bit too much, we can leave it switched on, but we can change the diffusion range. At the moment, it's set to six. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might be the distance of travel in height of six blocks between the two biomes that it takes to do this dither. I'm not completely sure. However, if I reduce that to three, I know it will give us a quicker transition between the two, or we could even put it down to two or one if you like. And I'll just run that. There we go. If we zoom in here, 
on that same spot roughly you can see the transition is much quicker and uh, i quite like that as well i think i prefer that to three certainly the six the six tends to spread some of this out a little bit too thin so um yeah that looks good so that's dithering but where is the old-fashioned vanilla patchwork quilt version so if i go back to where we have create environmental biomap i can disable that by taking the tick out of enabled and then go down to create noise biomap and select that you can see it's disabled by enable it so i've now switched over to what is pretty much like the vanilla fun pimps version of the biomes map but it is already a lot better than that so let's run that and see what we get and there is the noise biome version and it does look sort of similar to the vanilla fun pimps version it doesn't have the dithering effect but it does have these very solid areas that can happen anywhere on the map it's not dependent on the height but it has got some customization options also bear in mind that this is a 4k map so if you're doing a bigger map your numbers might be slightly different i don't think that looks too bad but let's just say we want smaller biomes and more of them how do we do that well if we go into the create noise biome map we've got this frequency option here it's currently set to 0.001 if i change that to 0.002 we should get roughly double the amount of biomes uh, which means that they will be roughly half the size let's test it out and there we go with a frequency on a 4k map of 0.002 we get the smaller biomes and more of them and strangely enough we've got a lot more wilderness pois very interesting the other options here will change the shape of the biomes and you can play with those till your heart's content you can end up with some pretty wacky effects i'm not going to go into those there's not really any need as i think these look fine as they are so if you've seen everything you need i'd really appreciate a like before you go that would be wonderful it does help me out by letting others know the video is worth watching I'm hoping in the future that we have an option to combine both types of biome system styles here where we can specify biomes at a certain height like for example the desert around the coastline or the lower heights and the snow on the top but in between the two have the patchwork quilt effect but maybe even with dithering. These are all things that might happen, who knows. But what I do know is in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to create maps a lot like the one you saw at the start. We're going to be looking at how the mountains work how to reduce or increase them to smooth them and also how to alter the coastline so it gives a little bit more of a random shape as opposed to the quite rigid square that we've got here at the moment hit the bell if you want to be notified when that video comes out and i'll see you soon bye bye